There was a time not that long ago, if you wanted an electric vehicle, you had to build it. And that's what Christopher Walkton's done here on Litruwitta Aboriginal land in Northern Tasmania. Hello, I'm Rose Grant, acknowledging the privilege to walk in the footsteps of the Palawa peoples, their elders past and present. I'm keen to see how Christopher's taken his classic country workhorse, this Subaru 1992 Brumby Ute, and converted it to run on sunshine from his grid-connected solar and battery-powered home. Christopher, where did this part of your sustainable living journey start? So, we had a Subaru Brumby, and the engine started to die at one stage. We thought it'd be a bit boring replacing it with a petrol one, so let's, let's try this electric caper, which I've been thinking about for a while. And what conversion path did you take? Kit route or a DIY approach? This was completely DIY, uh, so I consulted with the Electric Vehicle Association Forum. There are lots of clever people on there who, who could tell me what to do and, and where to buy all of the bits. Uh, so I did it completely myself, but with a lot of uh, comments from the side. So there are challenges, aren't there? Was it a big decision to make the change? It was a big decision. So when I started, there were no models available. So the, the bits that I, I am good at are things like electronics and electrical and so on. The bits that I couldn't do, I gave to somebody else. Those were things like the mechanical uh, linkage between the, the, the motor and the gearbox. I was able to keep all, I think, of the original gauges. So I was able to repurpose the gauges that are there. So I've kept it looking reasonably original inside as well. It's absolutely beautiful to look at, but what do you love about it? It keeps me off the streets. <laughs> There's always something that needs improving or repairing <laughs> or fixing. So is that why you've also bought one of the newer model electric vehicles? What was your thinking there? Again, it's, it's nice to get away from petrol. And so we've recently replaced our uh, Mitsubishi Outlander hybrid with a, with a fully electric Kona. Replacing your fossil fuels with sunshine, as you say, electricity that can be generated in a number of ways. Uh, it, it just seems like a no-brainer to me. Your home, you're grid connected here, but pretty self-sufficient for energy use. I guess it varies on, depending on the time of year. It does. Averaged over the year, we're a net exporter of electricity over the entire year. In the winter, we import the bulk of our electricity. In the summer, we export the bulk of our electricity. So the, the solar installation is 10 kilowatts and the battery is 20 kilowatt hours. Our electricity usage is somewhat unusual although it will become more and more usual in that we have our, our two electric vehicles and so that's all of our petrol costs as well basically <laughs> are covered by the electricity as well. What sort of time frame has this journey taken you? Let's see. Brumby was converted in 2013 for the first time. Well, that was when I didn't have a lot of money, and so I did the, the cheapest thing first. And then the, I knew, always knew I was going to get solar, and we, we finally bit the bullet in 2017 for our solar. And then our battery came online in end of 2019. So we've been a solar battery electric vehicle house for about nine months at the moment. You need to keep at it and, it and it takes a lot longer than you think it should. Congratulations. To find out more, join our webinar on October 1st, 7 to 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time.